Now, the environmental campaign group Extinction Rebellion have blockaded roads in several cities across the country as part of what they're calling a summer uprising. Activists dragged boats into the road to halt traffic in Cardiff, Glasgow, Bristol, Leeds and London, demanding that the government declare a climate emergency and turn ecocide into a crime. Our chief correspondent, Alex Thompson, reports. April was London, July across Britain. Extinction Rebellion in five cities for five aspects of our climate crisis. Leeds and the focus on the connection between big banks, oil, logging, mining, you name it. I'm a parent, I live locally, and for the last 15 years I've been watching my kids' future get a little bit worse each year, and I've had enough. Uh, we're clearly out of time on climate change. We're not talking about something that's far off in the future anymore. It's right here, right now. <laughs> Bristol, where Extinction Rebellion says more than 22,000 homes are now at risk from sea level rise brought on by our warming planet. Across the water, Cardiff, where the focus all day has been the currently accelerating extinction of species globally. We understand that the Welsh Government and the UK Government have declared climate emergencies, but we've seen no action. And so today is all about calling on the Government to act now. We need carbon emissions reduced to zero, net zero, by 2025. Glasgow's theme, the hundreds of thousands of people displaced around the world by floods and expanding deserts. All of it so long predicted by science, so long ignored by politics. And so, to London. The Strand occupied outside the High Court, and here a legal focus to make ecocide, willful major environmental destruction, a crime. The way that this works is actually fairly simple at the International Criminal Court. Any member state can amend the Rome Statute, which is the governing document for international criminal law. So the idea is to add ecocide alongside war crimes, genocide and crimes against humanity. The law looked on softly, softly today, but over a thousand Extinction Rebellion activists have been prosecuted in London since April. We met two of them. Climate change is, and the climate crisis is already killing people in other parts of the world. That it's already affecting populations uh, in a really, really horrific way. And this is a, a tiny thing that I felt I could do uh, to stand up for, for those people. I still want to put them through the system in a way to send a message to them so that they, they don't re-offend, that people will be put off. But actually, I think the reverse is going to happen, that lots of people will step into their brave boots. Back in the spring, during the initial demonstrations by Extinction Rebellion, the idea that the British Parliament should declare a climate emergency seemed perhaps overambitious to some critics. But in fact, exactly that happened just a few weeks later. Right now, the idea that ecocide could become a globally enshrined criminal act, again, may seem far-fetched. But if you think that, consider what's happened in recent weeks, not far from the UK, in the Netherlands. Dutch citizens recently won the world's first case of people forcing their government into legal obligation to take effective action to prevent climate change. This evening, Extinction Rebellion marched away from the High Court. Street blocking's all very well, but what next? How to make an impact without alienating people? Governments, too, have a similar dilemma. How to cut car use, air travel, meat consumption without alienating voters. The test is on. Time is short. Alex Thompson, Channel 4 News, Central London.